today's episode of Bunga La Monenchi, we discuss politicians' promises to Kenyans. Take a look. Hello, on this week's episode of Bungele Monainchi, we are basing our focus on the promises politicians make to gain favor ahead of the 2022 general elections. The latest one being the 6K or 6,000 deal by Raila Odinga, which comes at a time when President Uru Kenyatta has made it public that the nation is losing 2 billion shillings on draft daily. Joining the conversation. Ahadi za wakati wa uchaguzi. Haiwezekani. Haiwezekani unatuahidi mambo ambayo ulishindwa kuyafanya kwa sababu wengine hao wanaoenda kutuahidi mambo wamekuwa viongozi tu hapa kwenye bunge. Wengine wamekuwa kwenye seneti, wengine wamekuwa kwenye eh, bunge la kitaifa, wengine wamekuwa kwenye eh, mabunge ya kikaunti. Ye, zile ahadi wanazojaribu kutupatia sasa hivi azi, wamekuwa wameshindwa kuzitimiza wakati wamekuwa viongozi kwenye zile nyadhifa. Hii ya lufusita itafaulu, mbona isifaulu? Nitasikitika sana, iwapo nitasikia mtu anasema kwamba shilingi ya lufusita haita wezekana, kwamba baba atahitua wapi. Kwani baba ni waleo katika siyasa? Uh, Suwezi juu anatua wapi pesa, kwa sababu misi ishi na ye, na ye, atisema ni businessman. Nasema hivi. Kwa sababu wilbaro kosa only 2,500, now Raila has brought 6,000. If you are given 6,000, you will buy 2,500 a wilbaro and remain with 3,500. Tusije tukaanza kulia ama kuanza ku chemuka mili ama kufurai sana kumbu wenzetu wanaigiza lazima tutajiepusha na au natafuta viongozi ambao wanajua pale ambapo kenya ipo eh, samoi ruto hata wakati wa moi yu ni mtu anajulikana kitambo hata siyo saai ati anapeana urubaru kutoka wakati wa moi kutembea huku kwa street huku nairobi utakuya kuzikia ruto alikuwa vila alikuwa anapea vijana akikuta wajana wa kwa panga kwa ngagari namna hii anamwambia kijana wetu eh mko namna hii mko eh mmekula eh ni tukua na cha anawapatia si 500 500 anapatia kila kijana eh. mara ngapi viongozi serikalini wamechukua pesa wanaweka mfukoni mabilioni na mabilioni alafu leo huji useme kwamba shilingi 1600 haiwezekani mtu unaongea kabisa hapo unasema kwamba ametoa hadi lakini sioni pa kutoa hiyo shilingi 1600 1600 inawezekana ni kitu ambacho kipo Kenya hii ina, ina pesa nyingi sana pesa nyingi sana Na mimi binafsi kama mwana ANC nikipigia debe wiki ilifu msalia mdavadi ninge muomba ye pia kama wa Kenya watamupa ruhusa kusimamia ili taifa aweze kuchukua huo huo mkondo sasa isikuwa silingi ilifu sita ikuwa at least silingi ilifu kumi iyo inawezekana kabisa <laughs> Bukipea kijana ilifu sita, a, sita na awe pia bibiaka apewe sita iyo ni kumi na mbili itawatosha bila kuenda kazi. Sasa inamaanisha hakuna haja ya kuenda kazi. Na hii taxi ya Kenya hatujui nani atalipa. Ahadi za wakati wa uchaguzi. Haiwezekani. Haiwezekani unatuahidi mambo ambayo ulishindwa kuyafanya kwa sababu wengine hao wanaoenda kutuahidi mambo wamekuwa viongozi tu hapa kwenye bunge. Wengine wamekuwa kwenye seneti, wengine wamekuwa kwenye e, bunge la kitaifa, wengine wamekuwa kwenye e, mabunge ya kikaunti. Zile Ahadi wanazojaribu kutupatia sasa hivi, azi, wamekua wameshindwa kuzitimiza wakati wamekua viongozi kwenye zile nyadhifa. Kiangalia bottom up approach, hiyo ni kitu yezi fanyika. Utapea manaiji elfu miyamoja, atatoa wapi. Utakopa tena trilioni kumina mbili uongeze, ama utatoa pesa wapi. All right, that was a very heated conversation on matters, uh, promises and promises uh, each and every time. And that brings us to the end of this episode of Bungele Monanchi. I'm Robert Oma and Metrin Nyatichi has made it possible with the camera. Good evening. Wa Kenya wengi wanasafu. Unajua pesa ni mingi Kenya, lakini kwa mifuko ya wachache. Uchumi wa inchi unazorota. Inchi ni yetu sote.